guys, we've been talking about Harlingen all year long and, and because they deserve it. But also, when we talk about Harlingen on a 16-game winning streak in district, there's another team in the Valley that's on a 16-game winning streak, and that's the Sherryland Rattlers. Both Sherryland and Harlingen, their last wins came on Halloween 2008. Sherryland lost to McCallum Memorial, and it was Harlingen losing to PSGA North. What does Sherryland look like to you, uh, Brendan, as a team? You know, compare them to Harlingen or compare them to the rest of the Valley, whichever you like. I think this season, Sherryland still has some work to do in my eyes. Last year, the year before, they've been dominant in that district. This season, they seem to be kind of starting game slow. And I think Fred Sanchez, uh, coach, will agree with you on that. Their offense sputtered a little bit at the beginning of that row game. It, they really kind of sputtered all the way along. The defense was so good, set them up with great field position the whole time. Sherland is not winning in as dominant fashion this year as, uh, as Harlingen is. I think the Rattlers still have that chip on their shoulder in not wanting to be, you know, no kid on that team wants to be the part of the team that breaks the streak in District uh, 35A. Uh, Sherilyn has youth, but they also have speed, Joe. They have a lot of speed, and I got to see that speed this week, and they have the ability to hit you and hit you hard, fast, and in bunches of points, i.e. look at the second quarter. You want to look at how good Sherryland is? Beat them in the second quarter, somebody, and you got a chance to beat them. They, they scored 31 unanswered points in a game that was close against Rowe and blew them away. And look at it. Uh, I did all the research getting ready for that ball game. They do it every week. Every week, second quarter, find a way to beat Sherryland, and you got a chance to compete with them. Otherwise, you're done. Wow. 